it's me, Mali, and I'm, up, and I'm making this voiceover after finishing all the voiceover for the character sheets because I forgot to do this one and only realized when I uh, did the last one and I had no memory of making this one and I'm like, oh no, what have I done? Um, but anyway, <laughs> this is, uh, this is Mad Hooker, and, um, he is inspired by, uh, the BMOG, the, um, the, uh, smiling emoji, and the, uh, knife emoji. Oh, by the way, by the way, this is the um, challenge of turning emojis into characters. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is doing this right now is making me like really, I don't know where I am or what's going on. Uh, but anyway, I made him chubby because B, you know, kind of this shape made his outfit very fluffy he's oh uh i i'm just so out of it they're non-binary i hate myself so much why do i keep doing this this always happens this happens with butt all the time this happens with myself sometimes i still call myself a sister and uh, uh just saying it just made my stomach hurt uh, or a daughter or a, uh, I, uh, uh, this is this is basically self-harm why am i doing this this is not basically self-harm i'm sorry um um, but anyway, uh, Mad Hooker, they are uh, an altar uh, in the system of Esther and Jack. Uh, they are the protector, so they take over when there's triggers like fights, people being mean to Esther or Jack. Um, dangerous objects or weapons. Um, I feel like there's the backstory of how they, how, how the DID came to being is that the child got traded with a knife or something and this made uh this made the mind create a protector that had a lot of knives so that he could fight against the knife or something i don't know uh it's way too late to have current thoughts i don't know why i'm doing a voiceover so late I was saying the other time that I was doing something wrong because of how late it was at that point, but like, come on, <laughs> now it's even more late and I'm doing a voiceover, ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, uh, Mad Hooker, they um, are the protector. Uh, they don't really like fronting uh, because uh, they like being in the inner world more because they have their own life there and it's cozier than being in the center even though Elwaz is really nice and most of the people they are nice he doesn't really like one of them, <laughs> uh, but yeah, he still prefers 
uh, even if most of being outside is fine except that one guy he they prefer uh, they prefer uh, living in the inner world um, as you can see I made a uh, like little like uh, ahoge like shapes uh, uh, on their <laughs> hair kind of like antennas but also like goat horns to emulate like demonness because he's supposed they're <laughs> they are supposed to look threatening because they're the protector you know look at those fucking shoes they're pointy af they're knives <laughs> um i love his big design i i almost put uh stri stripes um but i was like it's too obvious it's too much let's not let's not do that let's just let's not get ahead of ourselves you know <laughs> That's just not. <laughs> um, so uh, the um, yeah, <laughs> he, they, <laughs> I made them uh, like um, stick their tongue out uh, because I don't know. Character sticking tongue out with knife looks threatening or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he lo they look especially threatening in this art, but I don't know. <laughs> I still like it. Then we have our two usual doodles. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I made mistakes. <laughs> um, the two doodles, one of them is just them uh, smiling and being cute uh, because uh, smile face and because they deserve happiness to everybody in this house deserve happiness. God damn, all of them. I want to give them a hug. All of them. Um, and the second is uh, what they wear when they are fronting, uh, when they have <laughs> the choice to wear it, when they're fronting in the middle of just um, of just uh, Esther uh, existing. Of course, they're not gonna wear those clothes. But when it's like a day where they know they're gonna front, they wear that. Uh, it's a black top with a black choker, and there is no buns. People that don't know just think that Esther, those days, just doesn't feel really good, puts on emo <laughs> eyeliner and just vibes with those mustard pants <laughs> but people that know know you know um talking about the eyeliner it's still uh inspired by um peter from your boyfriend even though like stated multiple times the trees <laughs> A clusterfuck and I hate it and I'm scared to no end about how worse it's gonna get with the new blog and all and whatever day four is going to be and whatever nonsense a fellow has in store but this is no ne no, not here nor there uh, next video will be still those emojis and next character um, is going to be uh, the person that works at the center uh, the person I shape with uh, Esther so stay tuned for that 
and I hope you like it, and I'll see you next video, guys! Bye-bye! Take care!